Eric Moore at Mother.com with the weekend U.S. market analysis for the weekend of October 24th and October 25th, 2015. Take a look at how markets closed on Friday. Nice gain. About 1% on the Dow, 2% on the NASDAQ, 1% on the S&P 500. We see that crude oil was down about 2%, somewhere around there. So pretty much a nice gain for the general market. For the week, we see that the S&P 500 was up 2%. For the week, we see that the Dow Jones was up about 2.5%. And for the week, we see that the NASDAQ was up an amazing 3%. Let's go to the charts. Let's begin by taking a look at the NASDAQ weekly. And we can see here the first signs of a potential crossover here between the 13 week moving average and the 34 week moving average. If that takes place, that's going to be a good indication of where prices want to go. So since we haven't crossed over, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So that's one thing we can take here from this past four weeks of a rally. The market has finally moved its price back above the 13 week and the, and the 34 week moving average, which is a good sign of a market that wants to move higher. But now let's take a look at this market from another point of view. If you take the highs of the RSI going back about two years and touch the highs, something like that. And you can see here, we went above the line and back below it with uniform action, which actually gave us the high. So this line is legit, in my opinion. And we've come back and we are basically tasting that line there. If this is confirmed resistance in the new week, in other words, if the market pulls back on the RSI from here in the coming week or so, then that would suggest that the next swing trade should be lower. And the fact that we close exactly on that line suggests to me that we should not be surprised if hour to hour, day to day, there's some type of a pullback here, even week to week. Also, take a look at this most recent break in the RSI. So this break here on the NASDAQ. So that break in beginning of April, of August, late July, this break point led to a big drop in the market somewhere around here. So that drop came after this RSI break there. And you can see that what the market is doing, in my opinion, is testing that break. So let me draw that again. So we broke through there, draw a line right there. And you can see that this market is coming back to test the break level. And I think if that is confirmed as resistance as we begin the new week, then we can expect a week to week pullback in the market. So that's the second line on the weekly RSI. So line number one was the top side resistance. Okay. Right there. Hope you can see that. That could be resistance. That's the first line of resistance there. Line number two is the break level. And let me just draw that because most of these charts are going to be the same. So let me just spend some time on this one. That's second layer of res potential resistance on the weekly RSI because the market is closing exactly on that line. Let me show you a third layer of resistance, which is the back test failure line. So we broke through here, extend that line, and you can see that the market is closing exactly on that level. So clearly, if this is confirmed resistance, ex again, ex expect a pullback. Otherwise, for this market to trade higher, it needs to be above those three lines. And I'll draw them again. Line number one. Line number two. Maybe I should do that in a different color. Just to make it interesting. So line number two. And then let's see line number three. Which is there. So if this market wants to move higher, it needs to be eventually figure out a way to move above those three, three lines. Otherwise, week to week, I think we've walked into resistance. Now, what I've done is I've adjusted the weekly chart. Now we have three, three years of data. Just want to show you some interesting observation here. And if you take a look at the weekly closing lows going back to 2012, and draw a line from this those something like that connecting with the weekly closing low right there you, you form a line 
And I don't know whether you can see this, but it shows that the market is coming back right now to test that same line, but this time on a back test failure. So we broke through that line here. We've come all the way. We hit that line once before here. We are coming back to test that line. If this is confirmed as resistance, one can expect markets to pull back based on that back test of that price channel. Let's take a look here at the NASDAQ daily. Just want to go back to that previous example. And what we see here is if you take the lows on a daily chart to the lows of October 2014 and the lows of 2015 sometime here in July, draw a straight line. We see that we got a break. There was a break right there. And so if you take that break point, the market is coming back to test the same level right there. And so this could actually be a level where the market struggles to hold above that level. So again, same level that was a break is now being tested there and just like that. So depending on how we do, if we can stay above that line, that's bullish. But if the market confirms resistance here, then expect a day to day, probably even a week to week pullback. Now, in terms of the daily RSI, it depends on what's going to take place. This is a breakout as of right now, connecting if you draw it like that. That seems to be a breakout on the daily RSI, which is good. But if the market does not, in other words, if we end up having a V-type inverse reaction here, if the market pulls back and looks something like that, then this is going to be another trap area. And I say that because the last time we had a high, the market did have an inverse type reaction here, which was the highs there. And that was because it had come back to test that this red line. So depending on how the next couple of days go, if we re show reversal on that same level, this is going to be your sell signal. Otherwise, this market can continue trading well as long as it holds above those two lines. Line number one here and also line number two. Anything above those two lines is very bullish. Anything back below those two lines is obviously suggesting that that is the best time to go and sell or at least go short on some instruments. Take a look at the Dow. This is a three-year weekly for the Dow. And just like the NASDAQ, you can take a line connecting the highs like, there, like that. You can see that the market is coming back to test this RSI level. Anything above that is bullish. Resistance on that level there is not good. The market might have to pull back short term. Also, we can look at this from the recent break in the RSI. This is now two years. You can see that the break took place somewhere here in May. So this break in May, the market came off the high here in terms of the Dow. So the Dow broke down there, draw a line from there. And clearly you can see the last time we had a high was here and it was after we hit that level. So we are coming back to test the same level. Anything above that is a breakout, but if we find resistance here in the coming week and weeks, expect some type of a pullback. Take a look at this daily chart for the Dow, and this is absolutely bullish. As of right now, we can see we broke out. We can either draw it this way. Let's just take it this way. This is a nice breakout without knowing what the future brings. This suggests that there could be even more upside in the market. That's a very good breakout because we broke out above the top side of the daily RSI. And also we've cleared this line of where we, we had previously been stalling. So the fact that the market is trading above those two lines does open the possibility for this market, if it wants to, to continue trading higher here. We also see that the Dow is trading above 69.1 for the first time since about since December of 2014. That, suge that suggests that this could be a market entering into a new bullish phase. As long as it's above 69.1, you got to be aware that the market could continue trading well. So this is a good sign if you're a bull because the market has cleared all the resistance levels on the daily based on where it was struggling to hold again. Above that line was where it was struggling and now we see that it has finally cleared that level which is encouraging for market participants if you are bullish. Now to further confuse things, take a look here at the 
hourly and the hourly does show an improvement in price levels there but yet we can see that the RSI has not really moved any higher so I think that to me is negative divergence and it is confusing yes because this generally suggests that there's a pullback in store we can also take a look at the 30 minute chart for the Dow and recently we've seen a, an improvement in price highs here so prices are making new highs but the RSI really as of right now is showing negative divergence short term that could be a reason for the market to pull back take a look at the weekly chart for the Dow transports so the Dow transports on the weekly this is two years worth of data and you can see having a nice week up about 2.7 percent because the monthly or the weekly RSI excuse me weekly RSI just moved above 50 which means should it move back below 50 in the coming week we might have a big down week so keep that in mind as you move above 50 you get a nice spike and as you move below 50 you generally get to to get a big drop so the fact that it closed above 50 might open the at least the possibility of this being a resistance level and that in the coming week anything back below 50 would suggest net net a big down week so that's one thing to consider also take a look at the break level this break level on the weekly RSI sometime middle of March was during this down week the market hasn't been back to that level since then that happens to be around the 50 so we draw a line around the 50 and take a look at where it has been showing resistance resistance on the 50 level RSI for the highs there and we came close here but did not even make it there for those highs and now we are coming back to test that 50 level if in the coming week we can't move about 50 expect a pullback also you can take a look at a line connecting the highs on the weekly RSI you draw it like that it connects the highs here throughout the highs going back to 2014 so here again we are seeing another potential for resistance because the market is coming back to test the top side on the weekly RSI and so what the market bulls want to see is a nice breakout above that line of resistance otherwise those who would like to see the market pull back or bears would like to see resistance on this weekly resistance line and for the market to start pulling back now let me not forget to mention if you take a look at the way the moving averages are trading right now it looks like the market could eventually manage to cross over there between the 13 week moving average and the 34 week moving average you can see the 10 week moving average is coiling higher and again let me show that you can see that this is beginning to look like a nice coiling action potentially for future crossover between the 13 and the 34 week moving average if that takes place that's going to be another strong argument for market pulls for the market to go higher keep in mind the last time there was a crossover on a bullish side was a crossover right here this was sometime late 2011 early 2012 and you can see that the market eventually went on to record higher levels so if we get a crossover if it's bullish that's good otherwise the fact that the market is coiling back up or the 10 week moving average is coiling back up is a good sign if you're looking for moving averages to give you some evidence as to where the market wants to go now I need to point this out we are moving higher here but be aware should we come and break that trend line a break of that trend line would be not a good sign the last time we had a a break of the trend line was somewhere here you can see the market tried to move higher slightly here on the 10 week moving average and then it broke down and that was bearish so bulls would like to see this to continue trading higher while on the other hand those who would like to see the market pull back would like to see something like this movement followed by a down move on the 10 week moving average take a look at the daily for the Dow transports and it is coming back to test this layer of resistance this is where it's been struggling throughout 2015 all the highs have come exactly on that line as you can see here the RSI has been a good tell as to when the Dow transports were gonna pull back and so again we come here on a timing front if we show resistance here 
and pull back on the RSI, then prices are going to have to follow. Otherwise, the market, if the market is going to change its behavior for 2015, in terms of Dow Transport, it needs to trade above that red line. Since we are closing exactly on that line, we don't know. It's tough to tell which way the market is going to go. Resistance would be bearish. A breakout above that red line would be bullish. If we take a look at the hourly for the Dow Transports, we can see try and get some insight into what's going on and what what you see here is we are making an improvement here in terms of the hourly price action but the RSI is not giving us a new high or at least the RSI is not making a higher high I think that negative divergence by itself might suggest that short term chances are higher that the market does pull back after this nice move here in the last couple of days S&P 500 Really, it's going to be the same type of analysis on the weekly. We broke down here. And the level to watch there for this previous break was 2076.62, which happened to be this closing low here in about June of this year. Once we broke through that, the market had a major plunge. So we plunged after breaking through that. Right? You can see that. Now we are coming back to test that same line and I think above 2076 is bullish but if we can't move above that layer of resistance there the previous break line any any type of resistance and if we can't trade above 2076 the suggestion is that the market is going to have to pull back hope that makes sense so again I think what's going on here on a weekly chart for the SPX is we are coming back to test the previous break line and that break line is at 2076. Anything below that now would suggest that the market has failed to recapture the break level. And the suggestion there would be the market is due to pull back. Otherwise, for this market to confirm its strength, it needs to be trading above that 2076 layer. Just like the other markets we saw, we are looking at potential resistance on the top side of the S&P 500. If you take the highest connecting the RSI highs on the weekly we are coming back to test that line we've seen that on other charts also we are coming back to test this layer here of resistance and this is where the market broke down we broke down here in May and after that break in May S&P 500 had its highest weekly closing high ever and since then this has become resistance short term and so we are back there failure to move above that layer of resistance would suggest the market is going to have to pull back. S&P 500 daily, there was, there's a resistance line somewhere around there and right now we are looking at a breakout. So this is a good sign that the market could actually continue even with pullbacks continue to grind higher. So this looks good. Also we can also see that take the previous highs you can even draw it like that or you can draw it this way suggesting that we actually did break out beginning of October and since then we've been using that line for support. So either way, there's some type of a breakout here. Line number one can be the previous highs or this recent level there. So on the daily, the market does look good. If we go to the hourly, and this is the problem here, the hourly we've been making higher highs on the SPX, but the RSI has not done so. The RSI continues to show resistance suggesting that hour to hour the likelihood is there that the market is going to have to pull back before it can fix some of these errors on the short-term charts. So really in conclusion here, take a look at the monthly chart for the S&P 500. And we can see here on this monthly chart that the market did has been finding support since 2009 on the 50. We held the 50 here for the lows. Market would go on to record nice new highs, as you can see, went to record new highs. And then again, we held the 50 here. The market went to record new highs. And recently, we did hold the 50, suggesting that the market could very easily go on to record new highs. So the, the monthly charts are the strongest or the biggest bullish argument that this could actually be the beginning of a move that takes the market to fresh highs. So if you're looking for the market to go down and if you have shorts, just make sure you have some some level of protection 
by using some type of stop otherwise the monthly chart looks very good in fact if you take a look let's say at the monthly chart for the transports also the monthly chart for the transports you can see good support since 2010 support at the 50 for the highs there the Dow transport went to record new highs the market held and moved below 50 back about 50 here market went on to record nice bounce from here right there and went to record new highs and over the last month or so we held the 50 level suggesting that the Dow transports could very easily go back to fresh highs so the biggest risk is that the market could go on to record fresh highs otherwise day to day and hour to hour there seems to be some type of a pullback but man the monthly charts are so strong it is hard to be against this market for now it's only until and i need to stress this it's only until we eventually break the current support so the next sell signal is if and when we break this support line or this line if we ever break through that line that's when somebody can have a good reason as to why they're playing the market short if we ever break that for now the monthly charts are just too strong and suggesting that this market might have to tag new highs before we see what's going to be next so be careful make sure you have stops um maybe the monthly charts are going to break eventually but for now tough to tell very strong monthly charts be careful eric moadid moadid.com enjoy your weekend good luck peace and blessings subscribers i should have part two ready for you guys sometime on sunday Woo! i am out yeah Mwah.